Hi everyone and welcome to Shiko's YouTube channel. In this video I will show you how to use our inventory system with barcode scanner. The Shiko inventory system with barcode scanner allows you to register or scan items in and out via Shiko forms. Shiko then automatically updates your spreadsheets. Finally, it updates your real-time inventory insights via the dashboard. Let me show you how you work with the system. Install the Shigo inventory system with barcode scanner by clicking the link that I'll put in the video description below. It will take you to this screen in the Shigo web application where you can sign in either with your Google, Dropbox or Microsoft account. Let's sign in with Google. There we go, we're now at the installation page of our inventory template. Simply click install template right here to add the inventory system with barcode scanner to your Google Drive. Give Shigo a few seconds to do so. That's it, the inventory barcode scanner system has now been installed to my personal drive and it's opened inside Shigo. As you can see on the left side of your screen, we have four tabs here. We have our overview of the entire workflow. So you see its name, how many people have access to the file currently, it's still only me. We can add more people and collaborators, of course. How many files this workflow contains and also how many connections there are between the files. And then here the schedule of the updates as well. When you click on the workflow overview, you will automatically enter into the second tab, which is the workflow tab. And here you see how the system is built. So we have our workflow view with the spreadsheets where you see the five connections between the sheets. There are four files in this workflow, as I mentioned before. We have an items database in a spreadsheet. We have a check-in and a separate checkout spreadsheet. And then finally, we have our inventory management master sheet, which contains all of the merged data. The third tab is the forms tab, and this takes care of the data input of your system. So you register your items here in a form, you check in and you check out items, but I will show you that in practice later. Finally, we have our metrics in our dashboard. You see the total items in stock, the volumes of items per day, your average checkout items per weekday, and your oversold as well. But now let me show you how you work with this workflow. Let's go back to the workflow tab. And here, the first thing you need to do to set up your own system is remove the sample data that we have in our spreadsheets. Each one of our system contains some sample data to show you how it works, of course. So we're now in here and you simply remove all of our sample data before you start filling out your own items database. You should use the items form. Here we are. It will automatically register today's date and also who records the item. And here's where you can easily scan the item with our barcode scanner. Let me scan this book for example. And note that you can use this barcode scanner either on your mobile or also on your computer. So it uses your camera to simply and quickly scan your items. So let's submit this form. And as you can see, the form has, response has been submitted and we can open the file to take a look at it. There we go. I submitted and I scanned this item, this book, and it has submitted into the items database of my spreadsheet. Of course, if you already have a current items database, you can also simply copy paste that right here in your spreadsheet, but use the barcode scanner for any future new items, of course. Next up, we're gonna do the same for check-in and check-out. Make sure to remove the sample data. Let me open the spreadsheets. The same thing here, you simply remove what's already here for, from sample data and do the same of the checkout. Let's do the same in the checkout spreadsheet. There we go. Now we can start checking in and checking out our items. Let me show you in the forms. Let's check an item in. You first select the quantity that you're checking in. So let's type 10 for example. And here you scan your item or you simply copy paste the stock keeping unit that you want to check in. There we go. Submit the form. Give Shigo a few seconds to add it to your spreadsheet. There we go. Let's open the file and take a look. There we go. As you can see in the check in spreadsheet, I have checked in 10 items of our book. And you simply do the same for the checkout. There's one extra thing in our workflow and that's the print labels option. Inside our items spreadsheet, 
where you keep the record of all your items, of course. If you do not have labels for those, you can use this print labels tab right here. There we go. We automatically will print the barcode, the QR code of this item for you. So you can print these labels right here. But now that we've inputted some check-in and check-out, we want to update this workflow and you can determine how often you can update your inventory data so that you aren't behind on stock levels or orders. So do that right here where you see the automatic update schedule set on active. It's set to run once a day between 1 and 2 p.m. But you can set a higher frequency of updates, for example, every hour, multiple times a day, every hour, so that the workflow acts as a real-time management system. There we go, let's save this. Now I've showed you how you work with our system, but finally you check your dashboard right here. There we go, and this shows me the total items I have in stock is only 10. That's it, that's how you use Shego's inventory system with barcode scanner. Check out the description for more information and our team contact details if you need some help. Feel free to comment down this video as well if you have any questions. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Chico's YouTube channel for more step-by-step -step tutorials. Thank you very much.